Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 of our 2023 coverage of Royal Caribbean's new main dining room dinner menu and food. If you haven't seen episode 1, we encourage you to check it out first for some helpful information. In this episode, we'll explore the food and menu from the French night and then Italian night. So let's begin with French night. On a 7 night or longer cruise, there are two formal dinners. So this French theme night also happened to be the first elegant dinner and was during night number 2 of our cruise. Even though it's a formal dinner, you don't have to dress up. Although on a Royal Caribbean cruise, you'll see about half of your fellow guests do it. So without further ado, check out the menu and food. The mushroom sauce. The 
it's good. Chocolate. I don't taste much of the cappuccino though, but it's a good cake. It's a good chocolate cake with um, nice whipped cream. I'm wondering, is up here is like cappuccino dust, like uh, powder, but I don't see like taste like a strong cappuccino flavor. The chocolate is kind of overpowering it. Not bad. That's not bad. Pretty good. This one, ooh, this one looks promising. Mmm, that's good. Sometimes they can be kind of dry, but these are not. These are nice and fluffy. Good amount of whipped cream inside, just like bur burst into your mouth. Mmm, this is good. I like this one. It's not dry at all. And a nice, Crunch from the almond slices. Save the best for last. crunch from the um, burnt sugar look at that you can see that it's not overcooked it's not as eggy as some of the creme brulee that's good as the more as you see I've almost finished it the more I eat it the creme brulee is not the best creme brulee I've tried it's lacking um, the creaminess, like the really good depth of creaminess and egginess to it. It's not the best creme brulee. It's okay. And those were food from the Royal Caribbean's first formal night, which was also French night. Now take a look at the food and menu from Italian night, which is from the third date of our seven night cruise. Check it out. Risotto, they fry it in the outside crust. I can taste the Parmesan cheese. This is actually the flavor, the seasoning is really good. And then I can see some polymer, pot, some mushroom, supposedly portobello mushroom, cheese. It's basically risotto, thick risotto, and then they make like a ball and then they roll it up with the Parmesan crust. The seasoning is really good. Loads of carbs though. So it's good. The seasoning is really good. I like it. Ooh, that looks so good. With uh Tender, I can feel it already. Mm. The chicken is so tender. Super tender is, is uh, chicken breast. The crust is nice and crunchy. And then the cheese, 
it. The melted cheese on top make it creamy and then a little bit of tomato sauce. The bite to happiness. So good. That is so good. Vegan spaghetti. It looks like ground meat. So I'm going to see if it is ground meat. Maybe I can tell. Who knows? Oh, okay. Sounds good. Thank you. I have a feeling this is just a regular spaghetti. Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely meat because we do eat um, like beyond meat and all that. So I will somewhat can tell if it's like vegetarian. But it doesn't even say it's beyond meat on the menu. It says it's tofu crumble. Tofu crumble? Yeah, but there's no tofu in it yeah, though. Exactly. It's all ground meat. I, I'm pretty positive about that. It's good though. You know, it's a good pasta dish. But it's definitely not vegan. Mushroom risotto with cheese. Mm. The risotto, they infuse all the, like really nice strong flavor of the mushroom in the risotto. Cook it perfectly, creamy. Oh, this is a really nice risotto. I like this. That's good. And you take all the way down all the juice, the liquid, the rum, I believe, that's happened there. It's all it's down the bottom. Mm. That's really good. Chocolate hazelnut. Mm. It's like fudge. Tons of hazelnut in, inside, in the center. So like, every bite you can taste the crunch. Mm, this is good. I like this. Mm, very chocolatey. Love the crunch of the hazelnut. Really good. Coffee pot to cream. Oh, it's just a consistency of like flan almost. Though the coffee is not that strong. It's not achy at all, but the consistency is very similar to flan. I like it. It's good. It's not too sweet. I like that. Mm. Good. And those were the appetizers, main entrees, and desserts from Royal Caribbean's Italian Night. And before those, the ones from the first elegant dress-up night with a French-themed menu. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll cover Caribbean Night and then the Mexican-themed dinner. So what are your impressions of the dishes from this episode? Which entrees would you order? It's always great reading your comments, and please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, happy cruising, and we'll see you soon in another video.